Let's quickly look at the most affordable electric car currently for sale in South Africa. It is the Mini Cooper SE three door hatch. It retails for 745,000 Rand. And allow me to introduce you to the Aura Funky Cat, also known as the Aura Good Cat. And when this Chinese EV arrives on our market later this year, it will almost certainly be the most affordable fully electric vehicle on our roads. So we're hoping that with all the shipping and taxes and etc., that it comes in at around or just under the 700,000 Rand mark. Now, don't get me wrong. I fully realize that 700,000 Rand is not exactly the definition of affordable. However, consider that almost every electric vehicle in South Africa is well over a million rand. Alright, right, going up. So we got one on the top of the start motor. One smoking pipe. Okay, Pete, give it a pull this way. Go down a bit. That's tight. Yeah, yeah man, we got it. Woohoo! Engine out. Here she comes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, good. Keep going. There you go. Yes. Yeah. It's now half past two. We've got the battery box in at the front, the motor in, still loads to do. Go on, back down again. Yeah, cool, that's fine. The rear battery box is a little bit more difficult than the front to get in. Right. Oh, yep. Yeah, but never knew. Can you see the hole, can you? Yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. Right, they can wiggle that now. Mind the paint up top. So the pressure's on the electrical guys now to get this finished. And then the last thing you do is turn the big isolator on. Here, and we should have 122 volts. Cool. Perfect. OK. So we're all ready to uh, basically do a switch on. Ready when you are, Mark? Yeah, turning ignition on. Going on? Yeah. So at the moment, I'm trying to uh, configure the motor. Yeah. Come on! That's what we want to hear. I'm really excited. Reverse. Even though we've electrified this beetle, it still feels like a beetle. I mean, the only thing that's changed, obviously, is it's got more power, it's easier to drive, and there's no noise coming from the engine or smell of the exhaust, which is no bad thing, really. Driving this electric Beetle as well is so easy compared to driving it when it's petrol. So this car has 25 kilowatt hours of battery pack, which is probably going to be good for around about 80, 90 mile range, probably more if you drive it really efficiently. The motor in it is about 120 horsepower, which is plenty compared to the original 40 horsepower engine that was in it. It could definitely keep up with modern traffic without a question of a doubt. It's also got regen, so going down this hill now, I'm putting energy back into the battery as well, which gives it a little bit more range. The handling of an electric Beetle is much better as well because we've moved the weight distribution a little bit further forward, which is no bad thing in a Beetle because usually all the weight is in the back, which makes the handling a little bit questionable. But now, on these twisty roads here in Wales, this is actually really nice and the handling is actually quite impressive. The other benefits of having an electric Classic is there's zero emissions going out that tailpipe.
classic car that's already been built a long time ago and its carbon footprint is already there and we've taken a Tesla and recycled its batteries. So putting those two together makes a perfectly green solution for uh, repurposing the classic car. I'm really enjoying driving this. It just puts a smile on your face.